Hello and welcome to creating a Disbursement Request Modification or DRM transaction in AZ360. We will be demonstrating this process in one of our test environments and the screen has been zoomed in for optimal viewing. In our training scenario, an agency has obtained approval to process a GAX transaction, but the agency user needs to make a request that the warrant be held for pickup as a single warrant disbursement. We will be creating a DRM transaction to make the necessary changes. In this scenario, we will be utilizing um, test GAX starting with uh, the numbers 23 and ending with 2731. We'll also be employing a wildcard asterisk to help in our search lookup. Okay, we're already logged into the AZ360 application and the accounts payable business role has been selected in the top right of the screen. To get started, we'll navigate to the global search menu at the top of the screen and type in GAX, and then we'll click on the general accounting expense option that generates. As the page renders, or when the page renders rather, we will go ahead and type in the transaction ID in the ID field using that asterisk. So again, two, three, wildcard asterisk, two, seven, three, one. We'll enter our department number. For test purposes, we're using ADA. This will help to limit the search results. Click search. We'll scroll down to the bottom grid and find that only one transaction has generated. Click on the ID hyperlink to open the GAX transaction. The GAX has opened. We will click the page three dot menu in the top right and under primary actions, select copy forward. On the copy forward screen, ensure that DRM is selected under the target transaction code and then scroll down to fill out the remaining information. So in our case, ADA for the department and check off the auto numbering checkbox. Click OK and a new DRM transaction has generated. You'll know uh, that it is the first uh, version, version one. It is in draft. Its function is new and its status is held. Okay, to go ahead and complete the DRM uh, transaction, we'll go to the header tab, general information section, and then the transaction description will be updating what imported from the GAX transaction, and we'll be inputting the reason for the DRM transaction. So in this case, it's gonna be warrant to be held for pickup, okay? In the changes applied to field, we will go ahead and select transaction from the drop down menu. And in the reason field, we will enter hold for pickup. Okay, that completes the general information section. We'll now scroll down to the disbursement control section. In the disbursement category field, we will use the pick list and select pull from the options. Click okay to select. And then we will um, navigate over to single payment and check off yes. Okay. We'll then move on to the vendor tab. The only vendor line here uh, is already highlighted. We will click the row three dot menu and select delete. When prompted with the delete confirmation screen, we will click yes. Okay. We will then go ahead and validate the transaction to check for errors. You should get a transaction validated successfully message as displayed here. And then we'll click submit to submit the transaction to our next line agency approver. We're gonna be pausing the uh, video here briefly while we go ahead and approve this transaction in the background. We will resume shortly. Okay, welcome back. We have approved the DRM transaction. You'll know that because it is now in final phase. Uh, next, we will be gonna be uh, verifying the change as recorded in the uh, DISRQ table. So in the jump to or I'm sorry, the global search at the top of the um, field, we will enter DISRQ, click on disbursement request. Okay, in the department field, we will enter our transaction department ADA, and in the transaction ID, we're gonna be entering the GAX transaction number um, for the GAX that was originally modified by the DRM. So in this case, again, we'll employ that wildcard. So two, three, wildcard asterisk, 2731, click apply. And when you look at the GAX in the bottom grid here, under disbursement category, you'll notice that it's now um, reflecting pull. So that reflects the change that we just made with the DRM. And we have completed the creation of a disbursement request modification transaction in AZ360.